Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada PR. We hope you're doing great. In this video we're going to talk about the new updated IRCC processing times as of October 8th. As of October 8th, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada has updated its processing times, reflecting the current state of immigration applications and the overall efficiency of the system. These videos are crucial for applicants navigating the complexities of Canadian immigration, providing clarity on expected wait times for various visa categories. In this overview we will delve into the latest changes in processing times and what they mean for prospective immigrants seeking to build their lives in Canada. If you are interested in this topic, please pay attention and watch the video through to the end. To get all the information please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to push the notification bell for an upcoming video. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Latest IRCC Processing Times Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada revised monthly processing times for various citizenship and immigration applications on October 8th. These changes are crucial for applicants to stay informed, helping them effectively plan their immigration journey and set realistic expectations. Tracking the latest updates from IRCC allows applicants to stay ahead, making informed decisions about their applications. IRCC regularly updates its processing times to provide transparency for applicants. Monthly updates are provided for citizenship, family sponsorship, and economic immigration applications. Weekly updates are released for business immigration, temporary residency, and PR cards. These processing times help applicants estimate how long it may take for their applications to be reviewed and approved. Below, you'll find the most recent processing time updates for different immigration categories, including permanent residency cards, citizenship applications, family sponsorship, economic immigration, and temporary residency applications. Citizenship Processing Times Updated Monthly As of October 8, Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada have released updated processing times for various application types, reflecting recent changes in the efficiency of their immigration system. Staying informed about these updates is essential for applicants, as processing times can directly impact the timing and planning of their immigration journeys. Here's a breakdown of the latest processing times and how they've changed since the last update on September 4th. Citizenship Grant The processing time for a citizenship grant has been reduced to six months, marking a significant improvement with a one-month decrease. This VO is particularly beneficial for individuals applying for Canadian citizenship, as it reflects IRCC's efforts to streamline the process and address backlogs. Shorter processing times can lead to faster approvals, making it easier for applicants to plan their future in Canada. Citizenship Certificate Proof of Citizenship The processing time for receiving a citizenship certificate has increased by one month, now taking four months. This certificate is essential for individuals needing proof of their Canadian citizenship, and the longer wait time may affect those requiring immediate verification of their status. Planning is important, especially for those facing time-sensitive situations. Renunciation of Citizenship The time it takes to process an application to renounce Canadian citizenship remains unchanged at 16 months. This lengthy processing time may be a concern for individuals who are seeking to give up their citizenship for various reasons, as it suggests no significant improvements in this area. The Search of Citizenship Records for those seeking to search citizenship records, the processing time has increased to 12 months, reflecting a one-month rise since September. This could impact applicants looking to retrieve historical or legal documentation related to citizenship. IRCC is currently sending the acknowledgement of receipt letters for citizenship applications received in the week of September 20, 2024. Permanent resident cards processing times updated weekly on October 1st. As of October 8, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada has updated its processing times for permanent resident cards. These updates reflect the ongoing efforts to manage application volumes and enhance the efficiency of the immigration system. Here's an overview of the latest changes since the last update on September 24, focusing on new PR cards and PR card renewals. New PR Card 
the processing time for a new PR card has increased slightly to 26 days, reflecting a one-day rise since the last update. While this change is relatively minor, new permanent residents need to be aware of the current timeline, especially if they are planning to travel or need official proof of their permanent resident status soon after landing in Canada. Even with the slight increase, the processing time remains efficient, allowing new residents to obtain their PR cards within a month. PR Card Renewal The processing time for renewing a PR card has improved, now taking 69 days a reduction of one day compared to the previous update. While the reduction may seem small, any decrease in processing time is a positive development for permanent residents who rely on timely renewals for travel or proof of residency. Staying updated on these timelines is particularly important for PR holders whose cards are about to expire, as they need to plan to ensure uninterrupted proof of their status. Family Sponsorship Processing Times Updated Monthly As of October 8, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada have updated the processing times for various family sponsorship applications, including for spouses, common-law partners, parents and grandparents. These updated timelines help applicants understand how long it may take for their family members to join them in Canada. Here's a breakdown of the processing times and changes compared to the last update on September 4th. Spouse Common Law Partner Outside Canada, Excluding Quebec The processing time for sponsoring a spouse or common law partner from outside Canada remains unchanged at 10 months. While there have been no changes since the last update, applicants can take comfort in knowing that the timeline remains steady. This relatively shorter processing period is crucial for families eager to reunite. Spouse Common Law Partner Outside Canada for Quebec For applicants residing in Quebec, the processing time remains at 35 months. Although unchanged since the September update, this timeline represents a significant increase of three months since July 3rd. Quebec residents sponsoring their spouses from outside Canada face a much longer wait time compared to those in other provinces, making it critical for them to plan and account for the extended processing duration. Spouse Common Law Partner Inside Canada, Excluding Quebec The processing time for sponsoring a spouse or common law partner from inside Canada, excluding Quebec, remains at 13 months. While there's been no change since September, the overall processing time has increased by two months since July 31st. Applicants should be aware of this rise when planning their applications. Spouse Common Law Partner Inside Canada, for Quebec. In Quebec, the processing time for sponsoring a spouse or common law partner from inside Canada is currently 27 months, unchanged since September, but with a three-month increase since July 31st. This substantial increase emphasizes the complexity of Quebec's immigration processes compared to other provinces. Parents' Grandparents Outside Quebec For those sponsoring parents or grandparents from outside Quebec, the processing time remains at 24 months. This stability in processing times is helpful for applicants who can expect a predictable two-year waiting period. Parents' Grandparents for Quebec In Quebec the processing time for sponsoring parents or grandparents is 48 months, unchanged from the last update. This longer timeline reflects the unique immigration processes in Quebec, where applicants face twice the wait time compared to those in other provinces. In conclusion, while some processing times have remained stable, it's essential for applicants, especially those in Quebec, to be aware of the significant delays. Keeping track of these changes allows for better planning and preparation throughout the sponsorship process. Economic Immigration Processing Times Updated Monthly and Weekly As of October 8, IRCC has released updated processing times for various permanent residence programs, giving applicants a clearer picture of how long they can expect to wait for their applications to be processed. These videos highlight the stability and changes across different immigration streams, impacting individuals seeking permanent residency through federal, provincial, and business programs. Below is a detailed breakdown of the latest processing times and recent changes. Canadian Experience Class The processing time for CEC applications remains unchanged at five months. This steady timeline is good news for individuals already in Canada with Canadian work experience, offering a predictable and relatively fast route to permanent residency. 
Federal Skilled Worker Program. For FSWP applicants, the processing time also remains at five months. The stability in processing times ensures that skilled workers applying from outside Canada can continue to plan with a clear timeline in mind. Federal Skilled Trades Program. There have been no updates for the FSTP since March 2023, leaving applicants without a recent estimate for processing times. This lack of updates may cause uncertainty for those in skilled trades seeking permanent residency. Provincial Nominee Program Express Entry ENP applications through the Express Entry System continue to have a processing time of six months, unchanged from the previous update. This stability provides consistency for applicants nominated by provinces for immigration through the Federal Express Entry System. Provincial Nominee Program Non-Express Entry For Non-Express Entry PNP applications, the processing time remains at 12 months. Although unchanged since the last update, there has been a one-month increase overall since July 31st, indicating slight delays for this category. Quebec Skilled Workers the processing time for QSW applicants stays steady at nine months. This offers predictability for individuals immigrating to Quebec through its unique selection system. Quebec Business Class Processing times for Quebec Business Class applications have increased by two months, now reaching 49 months. This significant delay impacts entrepreneurs and investors applying for residency through Quebec's business immigration programs, reflecting potential backlogs or added complexities in processing. Federal Self-Employed Program The Federal Self-Employed Stream continues to have a processing time of 48 months, unchanged since the last update but with a one-month increase overall since July 31st. This long wait time poses challenges for self-employed applicants seeking to settle in Canada. Atlantic Immigration Program The processing time for the AIP has increased by one month, now taking eight months. This delay affects individuals seeking permanent residency in Canada's Atlantic provinces who should adjust their expectations accordingly. Startup Visa The Startup Visa Program continues to have a processing time of 40 months, unchanged since the last update. However, the overall timeline has increased by two months since July 31st, reflecting potential delays in processing entrepreneurial applications. Temporary Residency Processing Times Updated Weekly on October 1st As of October 8th, IRCC has updated the processing times for visa applications from various countries, highlighting slight changes in wait times for applicants seeking entry into Canada. These videos offer important insights for individuals from specific countries, helping them plan and manage their expectations during the immigration process. Below is a breakdown of the processing times and how they've changed since previous updates. India The processing time for applications from India has increased to 105 days. This marks an increase of three days since September 24th and a significant 41-day rise since August 20th. The extended timeline reflects potential backlogs or higher volumes of applications, which applicants should account for when planning their immigration to Canada. Nigeria Applicants from Nigeria now face a processing time of 173 days. This is a slight improvement, with a reduction of one day since September 24 and a two-day decrease since August 20. While the changes are minimal, they offer a positive sign that processing times are slowly improving for Nigerian applicants. United States The processing time for applicants from the United States has been reduced to 32 days, reflecting a two-day improvement since September 24 and a total reduction of four days since August 20. This shorter wait time benefits U.S.-based applicants, who can expect quicker processing for their immigration applications. Pakistan. The processing time for applications from Pakistan has been reduced to 26 days. This represents a one-day reduction since September 24 and a significant 21-day decrease since August 20, indicating a substantial improvement in the speed of processing for Pakistani applicants. Philippines. Applicants from the Philippines now face a processing time of 21 days, reduced by one day since September 24 and by four days since September 4. This continued improvement shows that processing times for Filipino applicants are becoming more efficient. 
visitor visa inside Canada. Online 29 days increased by 2 days since September 24 and by 4 days since August 20. As of October 8, IRCC has updated the visa processing times for several countries, reflecting both improvements and delays in the processing timelines. These updates are crucial for applicants planning to immigrate or travel to Canada, as they provide insights into potential wait times. Here is a breakdown of the processing times and recent changes. India The processing time for applications from India has increased to 94 days, which is 7 days longer than the last update on September 24 and 26 days longer since August 20. The steady increase reflects ongoing backlogs or a surge in applications, and applicants should prepare for extended wait times. Nigeria Processing times for applications from Nigeria have increased slightly to 61 days, showing a one-day rise since September 24. However, it also marks a three-day reduction since September 17, signaling minor fluctuations. While the change is small, applicants should remain aware of these shifts as they manage their timelines. United States The processing time for U.S.-based applicants has improved significantly, now at 181 days. This represents a 29-day reduction since September 24 and a substantial decrease of 101 days since August 27. This rapid improvement in processing speed is good news for applicants from the U.S., offering a much shorter wait than in previous months. Pakistan For applicants from Pakistan, the processing time is now 138 days, reduced by 8 days since September 24 and 6 days since September 4. The ongoing improvement indicates efforts to speed up the processing of applications from this region, giving applicants more certainty in their planning. Philippines For the Philippines, the processing time remains unchanged at 111 days since September 24. However, there has been a four-day reduction since September 4, showing incremental improvements in processing efficiency for Filipino applicants. Study permits outside Canada vary by country. As of October 8, IRCC has updated the processing times for visa applications from several countries. These updates reflect changes in wait times, with some countries experiencing delays and others seeing improvements. Here is a detailed overview of the current processing times and changes since the last updates. India The processing time for visa applications from India remains steady at six weeks, unchanged since September 24. However, this marks a one-week increase since September 11, signaling some delays in processing times over the past few weeks. Nigeria Applicants from Nigeria now face a processing time of 10 weeks, which has increased by one week since September 24 and by four weeks since August 20. This extended wait time highlights significant delays in the processing of applications from Nigeria. The United States for U.S.-based applicants, the processing time remains at 12 weeks, with no change since September 24. However, the overall processing time has increased by three weeks since July 24, reflecting a longer wait period compared to earlier in the year. Pakistan The processing time for applications from Pakistan remains unchanged at nine weeks since the September 24 update. However, it has increased by one week since August 27, indicating a gradual lengthening of processing times for Pakistani applicants. Philippines Visa applications from the Philippines now take six weeks to process, reflecting a one-week reduction since September 24 and a two-week decrease since July 24. This improvement offers quicker processing times for Filipino applicants. Study permit from inside Canada 16 weeks no change since September 24, but increased by 5 weeks since August 14. Study permit extension 112 days increased by 5 days since September 24 and by 42 days since August 20. Work permit outside Canada varies by country. As of October 8, IRCC has updated visa processing times, reflecting both delays and improvements for several countries. These changes are critical for applicants looking to understand how long their immigration process might take. Here is an overview of the current processing times and the adjustments since the last updates. India 
The processing time for applications from India has increased to 28 weeks, showing an additional one-week delay since September 24, and a significant eight-week increase since August 20. This continued rise highlights potential backlogs and processing challenges. Nigeria For Nigerian applicants, the processing time remains unchanged at 15 weeks since the last update on September 24. However, it has increased by two weeks since August 20, indicating some delays in recent months. United States the processing time for U.S.-based applicants has improved, now reduced to 13 weeks. This marks a one-week reduction since September 24 and a total decrease of four weeks since August 27. This trend reflects a notable improvement in processing speed for U.S. applicants. Pakistan The processing time for applications from Pakistan has remained steady at 17 weeks since September 24. However, it has increased by seven weeks since August 27, indicating a significant rise in the overall processing time for Pakistani applicants over the past few months. Philippines For applicants from the Philippines, the processing time has decreased to 12 weeks, reflecting a one-week reduction since September 24. However, it has increased by five weeks since August 14, suggesting fluctuating processing times in the region. Work permit inside Canada Online 130 days increased by 2 days since September 24 and by 13 days since August 20. Other temporary residency categories. International Experience Canada current season 4 weeks no changes since September 24, but reduced by 2 weeks since August 20. Seasonal Agricultural Workers Program 285 days increased by 5 days since September 24 and by 163 days since August 20. Electronic Travel Authorization 5 Minutes For specific case inquiries or additional guidance, it's always advisable to consult the IRCC website or contact an immigration professional. What is the processing time for citizenship applications? 6 months reduced by 1 month since September 4. What is the current processing time for new PR cards? 26 days increased by one day since September 24. How long does it take to renew a PR card? 69 days reduced by one day since September 24. How long does it take to process a spousal sponsorship from outside Canada? 10 months, excluding Quebec. How long does it take to process a study permit from Nigeria? 10 weeks increased by one week since September 24. How often are IRCC processing times updated? Monthly for citizenship, family sponsorship, and economic immigration weekly for temporary residency and PR cards. In summary, the latest IRCC processing times as of October 8 offer valuable insights for applicants preparing their immigration journeys. Understanding these timelines is essential for managing expectations and planning accordingly. As the landscape of immigration continues to evolve, Staying informed about processing times can help applicants make informed decisions and enhance their chances of success in their pursuit of a new life in Canada. That is all for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully the information is useful to you. See you later in the next video. Till then, take care. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Canada PR, we hope you are doing great. In this video, we are going to talk about the new update IRCC processing at times as of October 8. On October 8, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada update its uh, processing times for various citizenship and immigration application, allowing applicants to stay informed and make timely decisions. This video is provided monthly for citizenship, family sponsorship, and economic immigration application and weekly for business immigration temporary residency and permanent residence cards helping applicants estimate how long their application might take. For citizenship application, the processing time for a citizenship grant has been reduced to 6 months, a one-off improvement since the last update. This reduction in a, is a benef a beneficial for those applying for a Canadian citizenship offering faster approval. However, the processing time for a citizenship certificate has increased by one month 
to four months. This reunification of citizenship remains unchanged, eight or sixteen months, while a search of a citizenship record now takes twelve months, marking a one month increase. IRCC is currently issuing acknowledgement letter for a citizenship application received in the week of September 2024. Regarding PR cards, the processing times for new PR cards has increased a slightly to 26 days while uh, renewals uh, have seen a slight improvement now taking 69 days. These changes reflect ongoing efforts by IRCC to manage application volumes effectively. In family sponsorship, application deprocessing time for uh, sponsoring is spouse or a common law partner uh, from outside Canada remains steady. 8 or 10 months expect in a Quebec where the timeline is a longer 8 5, uh, 35 months. Sponsoring a spouse or a common law partner from inside Canada excluding Quebec take 13 months while in a Quebec it takes 27 months. The timeline for uh, sponsoring parents or grandparents is a uh, 24 months for applicants outside Quebec but double that. 48 months for those in a Cuba. Economic immigration processing times remain uh, relatively stable. The Canadian experience class and a federal skilled worker program both take five months unchanged uh, since uh, the last update. Provincial nominee program express entry application take six months, while non express entry application take 12 months. Quebec skill or worker application require 9 months and Quebec business class application now take 49 months. Reflecting a 2 month increase, the federal uh, self employed program has a 48 month timeline while the Atlantic immigration program now takes 8 months. For temporary residence visa application uh, from India take 105 days, a 3 days uh, increase. Uh, since the previous update, while the processing times for uh, Nigeria and the United States have slightly improved, Pakistan's processing time has uh, been reduced to 26 days and the Philippines saw a small reduction to 21 days. These updated timelines reflect ongoing adjustment in IRCC processing efficiency, with some areas improving and others experiencing a slight delays. Applicants are advised to stay informed to a better plan. Uh, their immigration journey.